At the beginning of the film, it is shown that science has become very, even it can tell us the point of soul existence. Science can tell us everything about soul. Many eyes are shown in the next scene. After focusing the eyes, it is revealed that the eyes of two humans are not the same. Humans have different eyes. It means all eyes are unique. Like our fingerprints, the fingerprints can't be the same as our eyes. The main character of the film, a young boy named Ian, is introduced. Ian is a scientist and is shown researching animals' eyes. His story is later heard in his own voice. It was his life story that changed his life. The scene shifts many years ago when Ian reads in the college. Ian has come to a party thrown by his college. But he wasn't enjoying it as he doesn't like this party. He was leaving from there. Meanwhile, he sees a girl when he thinks of moving out. We couldn't see that girl's face as she has covered her face. Ian sees the girl and moves toward her to ask why is she standing there. Why she didn't go to the party. Hearing this, the girl says look at the moon how pretty is it. Here, Ian looks into that girl's eyes. They are lovely and Ian says your eyes are lovely. Can I take a picture of your eyes? Hearing this, the girl says yes, why not? Ian does the same and takes a picture of her eyes. Later, the girl asks Ian to go to the party. Then they came to the party and they were enjoying it this time. Ian is working in his lab with his friend in the next scene. Meanwhile, Ian's female colleague arrives and begins working with Ian in that lab. She has come here as per routine to work with Ian. Then Ian shows them the experiment he has done on mice eyes. Ian's colleague becomes impressed by seeing it. Ian is shown at his home while watching the picture of that girl's eyes at night. The girl with the veil he met at the party. Ian sleeps while seeing her eyes. Later, Ian moves into a bus to go to his lab. He gets off the bus on the way due to some reason. Meanwhile, he sees a billboard in front, in which there were the girl's eyes whom he met at the party. Even he has made its picture. Ian discovers the girl is a model and Ian reaches his lab and research that girl. This girl is named Sophie and she is a pretty model. Then Ian is shown on a train where he sees the model Sophie. She was sitting at a distance from Ian. Ian stands from his place and sits near Sophie. Sophie recognizes him as she sees him even then she didn't react. She leaves when the train stops and Ian also moves behind her. Moving at a distance, they start talking to each other. While talking, Sophie tells Ian that she was born in Argentina and I shifted to France when I was 11 years old. Hearing this, Ian also tells Sophie about him, that I am a scientist and researching animals' eyes. Sophie, let me tell you one thing. Your eyes are the most beautiful I've ever seen. That's why I have made a picture of your eyes, as I have never seen eyes like yours. A connection was made between them while talking. Later, Sophie comes to Ian's house with him, talks to each other, and has a good time. They were wandering outside and saw a white peacock. And it looked lovely. Seeing it, Sophie tells Ian that the white peacock is considered a soul symbol in Indian culture. It denotes the presence of a soul in the vicinity of a white peacock. Ian starts telling her about the scientific facts. We discover that they are opposite to each other. 
they are different. Yen is shown living at Sophie's house. Sophie shows her parents' picture to Ian and he becomes sad to see her parents' picture. He recalls his parents seeing the photos, but he leaves while remaining calm. A statue is shown in Sophie's house that belongs to India. Seeing it, we discover Sophie is fond of Indian culture. The next day, Ian and his colleague are shown working in the lab. They were giving the eyes to the insect that had no eyes. Ian believes that our eyes are not God-gifted. But humans have developing organs when humans are born. Ian purposes Sophie reaching home. Then he asks her to marry him, and Sophie agrees to this. The next day, they move to the court to get married. But they discover they can't get married today. They were returning home being depressed because of it. But then Ian gets a call from a colleague and tells him, We can give eyes to the insect on which we are experimenting. Ian becomes happy to hear this. And he tells Sophie about it while asking her to move with him to the lab. Ian and Sophie come to the lab and Ian makes her meet with his colleague. Later, they tell Sophie about the insect, that we are experimenting on it and giving it eyes. Sophie becomes furious to hear this and says he is doing wrong because it is against nature. If we recreate a human that God has made it will be dangerous for us and that human too. Hearing this, Ian tells her the scientific facts and makes her understand but suddenly, the acid drops from Sophie's hand. A few drops fall into Ian's eyes, causing severe pain as his eyes begin to burn. Sophie gets panicked to see this and calls Ian's colleague. She comes and puts medicine in Ian's eyes. Due to it, the effect of the acid removes and Ian returns home with Sophie. They were moving home by lift but suddenly, a lift wire broke. The lift stops there. Seeing it, Sophie gets panicked and starts weeping. Ian somehow opens the lift's door and emerges. Before he takes out Sophie from the lift it goes downside. Sophie got stuck in it and dies there badly. Ian becomes depressed to see it and becomes traumatized. We learn that Sophie asked Ian not to bury her but to burn her when she died. He does the same and buries her bones near the church after burning her. Ian becomes depressed that he starts taking drugs because of losing Sophie. He becomes a drug addict and then one day he receives a phone call from and one says of his I am colleagues. coming to your home and shows him the insect on which they were experimenting. Their experiment was successful. Now the insect can see but Ian misses Sophie while seeing the insect. He becomes sad that he starts weeping while hugging his colleague. Later, the time seven years later is shown, and Ian is shown in a TV interview. He says we have changed the nature rules while giving eyes to that insect. Ian is shown with his friend and colleague at the dinner table. Here we discover Ian's colleague got married to his friend. Now they were expecting a baby, and their baby boy is born after a few days and a nurse scans his eyes. They discover the eyes of the baby resemble an army man. None takes it seriously and they consider there is a glitch in the computer. After a few years when the boy grows elder, Ian receives a doctor's call and says we want to do some tests on that boy. For this, Ian reaches the hospital with his colleague along with the boy. They show him a picture of two dogs and the boy selects a dog among them. 
Later, the boy is shown a picture of two females and he also selects one of them. The boy starts weeping after selecting the picture and here their experiment ends. Later, they return home and they start searching for the man whose eyes resemble that man. Ian discovers where he lives so Ian also reaches that place. He moves to the shop and asks about the man. Reaching here, Ian discovers the man died many years ago. Now Ian moves to that man's house while taking the address. He sees the dog on the way whom he selected and also sees the lady for whom the boy wept. The lady is the wife of the army man. After all this, Ian comes back to his colleague. He tells her everything, calls his friend at home and gives him the picture of Sophie's eyes. He asks him for an iris scan of that picture. His friend does the same and starts an iris scan of Sophie's eyes. He discovers a man scan was found like Sophie's eyes three months before. This man is from India and his colleague asks him to go to India. Ian tells his colleague Sophie used to talk to me about India. She was also attached to the Indian culture. Later, Ian moves to India. Reaching Delhi, he reaches the place where the iris scan of that man was held. Reaching here, Ian meets a girl who was the manager there and says while showing her Sophie's eyes that the same eyes were registered here. The manager recognizes the eyes and says these are of a small girl. But I don't know where that girl is right now. Hearing this, Ian says can you help me with this? The manager agrees to help him and asks Ian to come tomorrow. The next day, the manager comes to a place with Ian and asks the people about that girl. They discover the parents of the girl died and she has none in this world. She has no home so none knows where is that girl right now. Ian gets an idea and pastes the picture of Sophie's eyes on a billboard. Ian and the manager are shown together in the next scene. And the manager asks few questions to Ian. Are you religious? Or do you believe in God? Ian says I am a scientist and just believes in scientific facts. I don't believe in those things. The next day, Ian is shown sitting near the billboard. Ian notices a girl staring at a billboard and recognizes her by the look in her eyes. that she is the girl for whom he is searching for. Ian goes near her and starts talking. Later, he takes her with him and then he starts experimenting on him along with his colleague. He shows her some pictures. And the pictures were related to Sophie. The girl gives the right answers to all questions. Later, Ian shows her a picture of three girls and there was Sophie's picture as well. The girl chooses Sophie and it discovers the girl was Sophie in her previous life. Even then, Ian doesn't believe this. Ian and the girl move downside but the girl gets scared as the lift opens. She holds Ian and starts weeping but seeing this, Ian remembers Sophie died because of lift. Sophie's this life also has the fear about lift. Meanwhile, Ian remembers what the manager said. With it, Ian realizes there are many things that are beyond science. Science still has no answer of those things. Ian hugs the girl to calm her down and relax her. He doesn't take her by the lift but takes her from the stairs. Here this movie ends. Thank you for watching.